Pictures I've drawn that include all the secrets to the universe. Here's the Earth. Here's the Starlink system at the bottom. You see how there's stars on them and they're all linked together. There's NASA satellites. There's the moon. All right. There's one toroidal. There's the black hole, like, or symbolic for galaxy. There's the other Fibonacci sequence, but they're both spinning opposite directions, you see. But that's kind of like what this thing is. They spin opposite directions. Let's see, there's Saturn with its crown in retrograde now, but there's the dragons. We'll zoom out a little further. Here's the pyramids, positives and negatives. It's all balanced out, right? There's a UFO or interstellar space machine. Here is an ascended human. It's basically your chariot, right? Here's the giant trees pushing the canopy upward. That's what this is symbolic for. You gotta look at it. There's no writing in a picture. And here's this over here. It's an angel looking at its own reflection. All right, I wish this would focus better. But on this reflection, it's holding the scroll. It's got horns, a tail, and a halo. All right, but there's keys on this one. So you hold the keys to the secret scrolls within you because it's looking at its own reflection, right? But on a bigger scale, this whole picture is a face, right? It's got the eyeballs at the top of the, the third eye, right? And all the knowledge is right here in a picture. Right? We've got the fish coming out of the stream of, or the, the river of life. The fish are representing us, ascending process, leaving the flow of physical life, basically, looking around in the, in the world. This is a spirit ball. Right? You were rising up out of creation's flow and you are ascending. You are starting to learn how to climb your tree of life. And all these branches are clues, right? They're all the little secrets that we've been given in our own personal life. Let me jump ahead and I'm going to find another page now. Right here. Okay, now... This is your Solomon, your sun and your moon, right? We're supposed to fuse this into this. That's your tree of life. Right? Here's your, your directions. Here's your triangles you're building, which this is the fusion of the sun and moon. Right? The Merkaba. It's got every direction. This one is facing us. We've got our four directions times four because it's you got to look at it in a third dimension. So you're taking it from the 2D and you're looking at it this way. Third third dimension, but see it's flat. We can't see the third dimension on a flat piece of paper. Here's our temple of man. See, so everything cosmic knowledge comes through here. It's supposed to purge you from top to bottom. Kind of like the pyramids were built from the top down. The center beam. Everything else was built like that. Downward. In a spiral. You know what I mean? They would go from the top view down. It would be... They'd build it like this. So they get to the bottom finally. And it's all fit together like a puzzle. Like a spiral. Just like this. All right, spirals. It's not satanic symbols, you guys. They use symbols to control us, to make us fear by showing us what we are. So we fear becoming this right here. An angel slash demon that can see its own reflection. It sees its trueness. It doesn't see itself for just what's on the surface, like looking like this, you know? It sees itself deeper, on a deeper level. Like this is more than just a bottle of water. It's got memories. It's got energy in it. 
You know? You can see? Now you can see the energy moving around. Right? In the form of bubbles. But still. Uh, I've got many notes. This is a... Uh, <laughs> my own magnetic toroidal field that I'm going to create in order to purge off the electronic parasites. All right. Why the Golden Dawn Fear is 11-0? I'm looking for the answer. Four posts, three rings per post, right? But if there's only technically 10 seasons or 10 zodiacs, where'd the other two come from? Julius and Augustus Caesar, perhaps, right? So, that's my note of it. I don't want to show people my house, I'm sorry. Um, those are my notes of it. Um, they can't erase what is written, okay? They can't basically... Erase what I've written in pen on paper. All right, <laughs> not in the, not in the world. They would have to rip it from my cold dead fingers, and me saying that protects me because they would try. But if they do try and succeed, if they do, everybody will know that I am speaking the truth, and there's no way that they could cover it up. I don't do drugs. I have no intentions of harming myself or others, and I also have no intentions of overdosing or committing suicide, just so everybody knows. There's no way. I am too happy and positive. I like to smile and laugh and show people the truth of the world, and that is what drives me every day to live. <laughs> On this uh, blessed cup of kofibi. Not in a million years. I keep coming back every lifetime just to show these people these, this knowledge. And uh, what you can see of my notes, you know, uh, I'd be exploring. All right. -da -da -da. G for goddess. Explain how the G symbol is a lavium majola vagina. All right. Basically, she's holding open the drapes to the sacred kingdom of creation. All right. That is the secret to creating life. Human life is through the sexual portal. Right? <laughs> and, and, and when two enlightened beings who have activated their crowns and purged the demon seed from their genetic code, which was implanted there, when they do this, they create what you call a holy a holy seed. That's why people were suggested and encouraged to procreate in front of creation, you know, in in the light of the word. That way they are not influenced by negativity when they procreate and create an angel slash demon. Uh they say opposites attract, but that's not the opposites that we're talking about here. We're speaking of zodiacal opposites, right? Your polar opposites. This doesn't mean like I'm a positive person. I'm looking for a negative person. No, I'm looking for my opposite zodiac, which is exactly halfway on the other side of the half, like the whole. So looking at this circle of water, imagine cutting a line through it like this line right here, the mold of the, the bottle that you can't see by the naked eye very well, or the, the picture, all right? So there's the line through the water, all right? Basically, negative, positive, brain halves, here's the cerebral cortex, Dividing the waters, right? Take that center post out of there and let the waters mingle and marry them waters together. All right. No longer is this a cloudy source of water, but now it's 
a clear vision. You see what I'm saying? You can see through the murk from the line being separate. It's causing all these bubbles, right? You can't see through the bubbles, through all the milky water, because it's been dirtied. But if you remove the fake stuff and allow your water to have a clear vision, you can see the star through the muck. Till next time, everybody. Peace.